If you're anything like me, you have your own export presets that you prefer to use. Now, the problem with your own export presets is that they get mixed in with all of the generic default presets that Premiere Pro ships with. And this can be annoying. I just want to see the stuff that I made and that I want. I know, I'm selfish. But even if we go into our preset manager, there's not a good way to bring these up and remove the system presets. Can't be done unless we jump into Finder. So let's do that. We'll cancel that. Let's close Premiere Pro. All right, in Finder, we're gonna go to our hard drive, jump over to Applications, then find your version of Premiere 2023. In the application itself, we're gonna right click and say Show Package Contents. Now that's gonna open up. We'll go into Contents, and then we're gonna look for the Media I.O. folder. In Media I.O., we'll see this folder of system presets, and there's a bunch of folders in here that contain all of your system presets that ship with Premiere Pro. Now, if you don't wanna delete all these, what I would recommend is copy the entire folder to your desktop. So that's what I'm gonna do just in case something goes wrong. So let's copy this boop, and paste. Great. Now I'm gonna come here and blow this thing away. Now the system preset folder is gone and we can jump back into Premiere Pro. In Premiere Pro, we can go to our export panel. And then if we look here in our presets, all we have are the presets that I created and all of those default presets are gone. Pretty sweet. Now, if you're a Windows user, I can help you out too. Let's go look at how to find those presets in Windows Explorer. All right, in Windows, the process is basically the same thing, except we're gonna go to our C drive, go into Program Files, find Adobe, then Premiere Pro 2023, oh, that's Photoshop, Premiere Pro 2023, and we're gonna look for that Media I.O. folder again. And same thing goes. If you wanna copy this to your desktop, you can. And then blow it away. Fantastic. Okay, if you like that tip, give me a thumbs up and uh, hit that subscribe button. See you next time.